இனிய மாலை வணக்கம் மாடுகட்டி போரடித்தால் மாழாத சென்னல் என்று ஆணைகட்டி போரடிக்கும் அழகிய தென்மதுரை என்று போற்றப்படக்கூடிய இந்த மதுரை என்பதையிலே சென்னை உயர்நீதிமன்றம் மதுரை கிளையின் வழக்கறிஞர்கள் சங்கத்தின் சார்பாகவும் வழக்கறிஞர்கள் சார்பாகவும் இந்த மண்ணின் மைந்தர் போற்றுதலுக்குரிய மாண்புமிகு நீதியரசர் ராஜா அவர்களுக்கு வழி அனுப்பும் விழா இப்பொழுது எளிதே துவங்குகின்றது முதலாவதாக தமிழ்தாய் வாழ்த்து நம்முடைய வழக்கறிஞர் குடும்பத்தில் இருந்து திடீரென எதிர்பாராத விதமாக மறைந்த எம்எம்பிஏ சங்கத்தின் இணை செயலாளர் அஜய் கோஸ் அவர்களுக்கு இரண்டு நிமிடம் மௌன அஞ்சலி நன்றி வந்தவர்களை வரவேற்பதுதானே நம்முடைய தமிழர் பண்பாடு அந்த வகையில் இங்கே வந்திருப்பவர்களை எல்லாம் வரவேற்கும் முகத்தான் வரவேற்புரை நல்க வருகின்றார் எம்பிஏ சங்கத்தின் பொதுச் செயலாளர் ஆர் வெங்கடேசன் வருக உங்களுடைய வரவேற்புரையை தருக கோயில் மாநகர் தூகா நகரம் கடம்பவனம் ஆலவாய் நகர் இன்று பல்வேறு பேர்களை தாங்கி நிற்கின்ற மதுரையை ஆளுகின்ற மீனாட்சி அருளால் இங்கே ஒன்று சேர்ந்து இந்த நிகழ்வை நாம் நடத்தி கொண்டிருக்கின்றோம் பிரிவு என்பது ஏற்றுக்கொள்ள முடியாதுதான் நம்முடன் இந்த நீதித்துறையில் மதுரை மைந்தன் தன்னுடைய பள்ளி வாழ்க்கையை கல்லூரி வாழ்க்கையை மதுரை மண்ணிலே திறம்பட நடத்தி அதனை அதனால் தனக்கு நிகர் தானே என்று மாநில அளவிலே உயர்ந்து நிற்கின்ற இந்த உயர்நீதிமன்றத்திலே பொறுப்பு தலைமை நீதிபதியாக இந்த மண்ணின் மைந்தன் ஆற்றிய பணிகள் தான் எவ்வளவோ எண்ணற்றது ஆனாலும் அவரை பொறுப்பு தலைமை நீதிபதியாக இங்கே வருக வருக என்று வரவேற்ற பொழுது நாம் கூடியிருந்த அந்த நண்பர்களுடைய முகத்திலே சிறிது கலக்கம் காணுகிறது மண்ணிற்கு சொந்தமானவர் நீதித்துறையில் பணியாற்றி பணி ஓய்வு என்று சொல்வது சரியாக இருக்காது பணி நிறைவு என்று சொல்வதுதான் சரியாக இருக்கும் ஏனென்றால் உயர்ந்த மனிதர்கள் உன்னற்ற மனிதர்களுக்கெல்லாம் ஓய்வு என்பதே கிடையாது அவ்வாறு ஓய்வு அறியாமல் தன்னுடைய வாழ்நாளில் பல்வேறு நல்ல நிகழ்வுகளெல்லாம் இங்கே நடத்தி நம்மளையெல்லாம் பெருமை சேர்த்த நம்மளுடைய மாண்புமிகு நீதியரசர் அவர்களுக்கு மதுரை உயர் நீதிமன்ற கிளையில் அமைந்திருக்கின்ற அனைத்து சங்கங்களும் ஒன்றாக இணைந்து இந்த நிகழ்வினை நாம் இங்கே நடத்தி கொண்டிருக்கின்றோம் அந்த வகையிலே இங்கே பல்வேறு அலுவல் இருந்தாலும் அதையெல்லாம் பொறுத்து 
எங்களுடைய அன்பான அழைப்பை ஏற்று இங்கே வருகிறது இந்த விழாவினை சிறப்பித்துக் கொண்டிருக்கின்ற மாண்புமிகு பொறுப்பு தலைமை நீதிபதி திரு ராஜா அவர்களை வருக 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 என்று அன்போடு வரவேற்பதில் மகிழ்ச்சி அடைகின்றோம் தொடர்ந்து இது ஒரு பழக்கம் தானே ஒரு நீதியரசர் அவர்கள் பணியில் சேருவார்கள் அந்த பணி நிறைவு வயதை அடைந்தவுடன் அவர்கள் ஓய்வு பெறுவது வழக்கம்தானே என்றாலும் கூட மதுரையின் மைந்தன் இந்த அவருடைய நீதித்துறை வரலாற்றிலே பல்வேறு நிகழ்வுகளை செய்திருந்தாலும் அதற்கு பட்டியல் அடங்காது இருந்தாலும் ஒரு சில சிறு விஷயங்களை மட்டும் இங்கே உங்களிடம் நினைவு கடைப்பட்டிருக்கின்றேன் அந்த வகையிலே மதுரை மாநகருக்கு மதுரை மீனாட்சி பெருமை அந்த மீனாட்சி திருக்கோயிலே நம்மளுடைய தெப்பக்குளம் என்று சொல்லக்கூடிய மாரியம்மன் தெப்பக்குளத்தில் உள்ள மண்ணை எடுத்துதான் அந்த மீனாட்சி அம்மன் கோயிலை கட்டியதாக வரலாறு கூறுகிறது அந்த குளத்திலே கடந்த நான்கு நான்கு ஐந்து ஆண்டுகளுக்கு முன்று பார்த்தால் இந்த தெப்ப திருவிழா போன்ற காலங்கள் தான் தண்ணீர் நிறைந்திருக்கும் ஆனால் இன்று நீங்கள் அனைவரும் அந்த தெப்பத்தை நீங்கள் நேரில் காணலாம் வருஷம் முன்னூற்றி நாளும் தண்ணீர் இருக்கும் அதுக்கு இதில் வந்து எதுக்கு நான் அதை பெருமையாக சொல்கிறேன்னா எல்லாருக்கும் எல்லா ஒரு ஒரு யோசனைகள் எல்லாம் இருக்கும் ஆனால் வந்து அந்த உண்மையான அந்த தெப்ப திருவிழாவினுடைய அந்த தெப்பத்தினுடைய தண்ணீர் நிறைந்திருப்பது மீனாட்சிக்கு மட்டுமல்ல அன்னை அன்னை மீனாட்சிக்கு மட்டுமல்ல மாரியம்மனுக்கு மட்டுமல்ல அந்த பகுதியில் உள்ள குறைந்தது ஒரு ஏழு எட்டு கிலோமீட்டர் சுற்றுலா உள்ள இருக்கு நிலத்தடி நீர் உருவாக்கி வைத்தது ஆக இதில் நான் என்ன சொல்ல வருகிறேன் என்றால் ஒரு நிகழ்வை செய்வதற்கு முன்னால் பின்னாலும் அதனால் எவ்வளவு பேர்கள் பயனடைகிறார்களால் பயனடைகிறார்கள் என்பதுதான் அதில் முக்கியம் அந்த வகையில மிக அருமையான ஒரு ஒரு தீர்ப்பின் மூலமாக இன்று மதுரை தெப்பக்குளம் த்தில் முன்னூத்தி இருபது நாளும் தண்ணீர் தேங்கி இருக்கிறதுக்கு அதற்கு முழு முழுதாக ஆற்றிய சேவை ஆற்றிய நீதியரசர் அவர்களை இந்த நேரத்திலே நன்றி கூற கடைப்பட்டிருக்கிறோம் நான் ஏற்கனவே சொன்னது போல பல பல விஷயங்கள் இருந்தாலும் மதுரை உயர்நீதிமன்ற கிளையில் இருக்க வழக்கறிஞர்கள வந்து உயர்நீதிமன்றத்தில் அங்கீகரிக்கப்பட்ட மூத்த வழக்கறிஞராக ஆக்கியதற்கு எங்களுடைய அனைத்து சங்கங்கள் சார்பாக இந்த நேரத்தில் நன்றி தெரிவித்துக் கொள்கிறோம் இன்னும் அவருடைய நினைவுகளையோ அவருடைய வரலாறை சொல்வதற்கு எங்களுக்கெல்லாம் நிறைய இருந்தாலும் நேரத்தின் தன்மை கருதி ஒரு பாரம்பரிய தியாக குடும்பத்தைச் சேர்ந்தவர் தியாகத்தின் வழியிலே அவர் பிறந்த ஊரான தேனூருக்கு மிகப்பெரிய வரலாறு இருக்கிறது அதுபோல அவருடைய வாழ்க்கையில் இன்னும் பல்வேறு நிலைகளில் அவள் இன்னும் உயர்ந்து பெருக வேண்டும் என்று எல்லாமல்ல இறைவனை வேண்டி அவரை வருக வருக என்று அன்போடு மீண்டும் வருக 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 என்று அழைத்து அழைக்கிறோம் தொடர்ந்து எங்களுடைய அன்பான அழைப்பை ஏற்றி இங்கே வருகிருந்திருக்கின்ற அதுவும் இந்த வெக்கேஷன் நேரத்தில் எல்லாருமே பிஸியாக இருப்போம் குறிப்பாக வந்து நீதியரசர்கள் வந்து ரொம்ப பிஸியாக இருப்பாங்க அதில் வந்து இந்த வெக்கேஷன் சிட்டிங்கிறப்ப எங்களுக்கு தெரியும் கிட்டத்தில் இருபத்தி ஏழு வருஷமாக நாங்கள் பார்த்துக்கிட்டு இருக்கோம் அதில் அந்த ஷெட்யூல்லையும் வந்து நீதியரசருடைய இந்த நிகழ்வுக்கு வருகை தருக வருகை தந்திருக்கின்ற எங்களுடைய அன்பான அழைப்பை ஏற்று வருகை தந்திருக்கின்ற மாண்பு நீதியரசர் திருமதி தாரணி அவர்களை வருக வருக என்று வருகிற மகிழ்ச்சி செய்கிறோம் அவ்வாறு இங்கே வருகை தந்திருக்கின்ற நீதியரசர் கே கே ராமகிருஷ்ணன் அவர்களை வருக வருக என்று வருகை பெயர் மகிழ்ச்சி செய்கிறோம் தொடர்ந்து எங்களுடைய அன்பான அழைப்பை ஏற்று இங்கே வருகை தந்திருக்கின்ற திரு நீதியரசர் வரமலை அவர்களை வருக வருக என்று வரவேற்பில் மகிழ்ச்சி செய்கிறோம் காலையில் அமர்வு நீதி அமர்வில் இருந்து தனியாக இன்று வழக்குகளை விசாரித்து சற்று தாமதமாக வந்தாலும் இந்த அரங்கிற்கு வந்து பெருமை சேர்த்துக் கொண்டிருக்கின்ற நீதியரசர் விக்டோரியா கௌரி அவர்களை வருக வருக என்று வரவேற்பை மகிழ்ச்சி செய்கிறோம் இன்னும் இங்கே வருகை தந்திருக்கின்ற துணை ஏஏஜி அருமை சகோதரர் பாஸ்கர் அவர்களை வருக வருக என்று வரவேற்கின்றோம் இங்கே வழி தந்து எங்களுடன் இணைந்து இணைந்து சேவையாற்றி கொண்டிருக்கின்ற எங்களுடைய சகோதர சங்கத்தைச் சேர்ந்த தலைவர்கள் செயலாளர்கள் உட்பட அனைவரையும் வருக வருக என்று வரவேற்பதுடன் கூடியிருக்கின்ற பெரியோர்கள் மற்றும் மூத்த வழக்கறிஞர்கள் யாராவது பேரை சொல்லிவிட்டு தான் மன்னிச்சுக்கங்க அனைவரையும் வருக வருக என்று அன்போடு வருகேற்று விடைபெறுகிறேன் நன்றி வணக்கம் நன்றி நன்றி வெங்கடேஷ் வரவேற்புரையை கூட சிறப்புரையாக மாற்ற முடியும் என்று மாற்றி அமர்ந்திருக்கின்றீர்கள் உங்களுக்கு வணக்கம் தொடர்ந்து நம்முடைய விழா நாயகன் சிறப்பு அழைப்பாளர் அவர்களுக்கு எம்பிஏ சங்கத்தின் தலைவர் எம் கே சுரேஷ் அவர்கள் பொன்னாடை போர்த்தி கௌரவிக்கக்கூடிய இனிய தருணம் உங்களுடைய கைதட்டல்களை 
வழங்கி கௌரவப்படுத்துமாறு அன்போடு கேட்டுக்கொள்கின்றோம் தொடர்ந்து நம்முடைய விழா நாயகன் மண்ணின் மைந்தன் போட்டுதலுக்குரிய நீதியரசர் அவர்களுக்கு நினைவு பரிசினை அனைத்து சங்கங்கள் சார்பாக நிர்வாகிகள் சுரேஷ் மற்றும் எம்பிஹெச்ஏ தலைவர் ராமகிருஷ்ணன் நாராயணகுமார் எம்பிஹெச்ஏ செக்ரட்டரி அன்பரசு உமன்ஸ் அசோசியேஷன் ஜெனரல் செக்ரட்டரி கிருஷ்ணராணி மேடம் வெங்கடேசன் எம்பிஏ மற்றும் நிர்வாகிகள் அனைவரும் இணைந்து நினைவு பரிசினை வழங்குகின்றார்கள் தொடர்ந்து வழக்கறிஞர்கள் குடும்ப நல நிதி வழங்கும் நிகழ்வு மறைந்த எஸ் வெங்கலட்சுமி அவர்களுடைய நாமினி எஸ் சதீஷ் பிரேம் அவர்களை மேடைக்கு இழைக்கிறோம் நம்முடைய நீதியரசர் அவர்களிடம் அவர்கள் அந்த தொகையினை பெறுகின்றார்கள் அதனைத் தொடர்ந்து மறைந்த ஜி செந்தில்குமார் அவர்களுடைய நாமினி மிஸ்எஸ் ஆர் எஸ் சுபாஷினி அவர்கள் மாண்புமிகு நீதியரசு அவர்களுக்கு நன்றி தொடர்ந்து விழாவின் வாழ்த்துறை நல்க வருகை தருமாறு மகா அசோசியேஷனுடைய தலைவர் வி ராமகிருஷ்ணன் அவர்கள் உங்கள் முன்னாள் தன் கனி பார்வையால் நெருஞ்சி முல்லையும் குறிஞ்சி மலராக மாற்றிவிடும் எனது அன்னை மாமதுரை மீனாட்சியின் பாதங்களில் பணிந்து என கிட்ட கடமையாற்றுகிறேன் திஸ் ஈவெண்ட் இஸ் அன் எமோஷனல் ஈவெண்ட் ஃபார் மீ பிகாஸ் தி ஹானரபிள் ஆக்டிங் சீஃப் ஜஸ்டிஸ் மிஸ்டர் டி ராஜா is associated with me right from 1984 when we joined in law college together right from then of course as students we were bit equal and uh, after completing his uh, law graduation i think for a brief period of our, some 10 days or so ravi ananta padma my friend is also here and raja is also here we have been doing jointly for some time i think raj honorable acting chief just may remember it because uh, his enrollment was bit uh, later to our enrollment and thereafter he went to i mean chennai high court and i have been watching them from then on a meteoric rise a meteoric rise and he is in standing just now i told uh, our president and my colleagues also here is a standing example how honesty dedication sincerity hard work will help a person from right i mean rise, rise from root to the highest level the law college where he studied the court he where he wanted to practice and the high court where he practiced were all under his control that is the meteoric rise which he enjoyed and the day when he sat in the dais along with the lordship justice sk krishnan is a momentous day for in my life also the friendship i was able to feel on the day on seeing him in the dais along with the lordship sk krishnan as a judge of this honorable high court and also addressing us my lord has virtually given me immense pleasure that pleasure of course it is not it cannot be explained so easily but one can enjoy it seeing a friend of course raja's background as a, a student was not that much uh, from a big i mean a uh, very posh family he is from a rustic village and if people may think about uh, tenur village in 1960s he born on 25th of march 1961 of course the affection of raja's mother and father not only on raja and his brother but also on me also i have to recollect it now raja's father tangam maniyakar tangamale ramaswami maniyakar and his grandfather is also to some extent is known known to my my father nilaganta maniyakar i think and his mother soroja mal i think in 19 uh, 2003 2004 raja started a construction of a house at uh, mela mela madai gomati pram during which point of time i offered my assistance also and often i used to visit there e, during every such visit raja's mother amma 
she used to I mean provide uh, food to me with all respect saying that uh, I'm, I'm being a Brahmin by community with all uh, and purity and with all sincerity should be ningala samika ninga nan kudukra saapuduvengala maatengala theriyadunna but i used to get it and raja's father the why i am saying raja rai not as icj is because i take this as an opportunity to show my affection by referring to because i feel that uh, an adjective icj is creating some distance between ourselves kindly pardon me for uh, naming uh, lordship as raja because uh, this is the time to show my affection also and for our father impeccably upright and honest gentleman who never i mean trespasses into the limit of others and very selective in words also those of course those parents have given a beautiful son to us and uh, the i do i am not interested in uh, saying the judgments of uh, our honorable scj because uh, that will be a mere formality actions will speak louder than words his actions have spoken already as rightly pointed out by venkatesh we have seen vandi uh, or teppakulam how it was in the past and we are now witnessing it how it is the entire credit goes to our scj he wanted to do something and not only this one in all in water body's case the interest shown by lordship by personally asking all the district collectors and giving warning to them i think sometime around some two years back lordship of course gave a, i mean used his whip and uh, made the district collectors to work to protect the water bodies these are the things which is required from uh, Judicial officers, that their position should benefit the society, and Raja did it perfectly well. So, hundred to hundred marks to him in this particular point. As a lawyer, I am a sixth, fifth generation lawyer in Madurai, but uh, I admire people like uh, I mean uh, our ACJ for the simple reason that it is it's not uh, we working uh, in a better manner in the court, but the persons like our ACJ. who has risen from humble backgrounds that is more important and every junior members of uh, our bar associations our our legal fraternity taking as an example because uh, he is such a type of a hard worker i bring it to his recollection about his saying while he was in delhi i, I this is for your uh, information i am saying this while he was in delhi i asked raja how he became a so acquainted with so many big people and all other what nots he simply said that uh, all the credit goes to mr csv on a particular day i think uh, raja while uh, he was no way to delhi he stayed in the office of his senior overnight also on a particular day at about some 1:30 or 2 in the midnight uh, when uh, mr csv was passing through his uh, office he saw the lights were on and uh, was puzzled as to who is there and what is going on and if even any people in his office he was able to see raja was working there along with the papers that has impressed him also i think raja can recollect this this is an example for hard work after he became the judge i had a cursory talk with uh, mrs raja how things are going on and she said uh, sir formally it was 2 o'clock on 1:30 or 2 now it is 4 or 4:30 and he lost his sleep also and he is working uh, almost 24 into 7 all these things made him to rise to this extent and uh, this is not a joke becoming a uh, acting chief justice in the in a chartered high court that to madras high court and starting from the humble uh, i mean uh, circumstances and family and winning over so many people it is not a joke it is sheer dedication and upright and honest and we are very proud to say as is contemporary i am very proud to say that whenever name of raja is referred to as we will be i mean uh, stretching our chest with all uh, 
I mean happiness. And uh, I prayed of, of course, Venkatesan said, Mariamman and uh, Meenakshaman. It is not Mariamman and Meenakshaman alone, it is Kallalahar also who was with him. Because Tenur is the place where originally, some 370 years back, Lord Kallalagar visited and have this, I mean, had all these festivities there. And I pray to God as Meenakshi, that is another innings now, that is post-retirement period. Definitely will be of great use to the society and he will make us to remain much more proud than the present status. Of course, it is my duty to I mean, now, as the president of our bar association, it is my duty to welcome honorable judges who are, uh, I mean, uh, they are uh, here and we are bound to thank them also. Because as rightly said, being the summer vacation time, we were a bit worried about the gathering. And uh, this is, of course, a reasonable and good gathering considering the circumstances. We are bound to thank Lordship, Lordship Justice Dharani, Dharani, Lordship Justice K.K. Ramakrishnan, Lordship Justice P. Vadamalai and Lordship J. Victoria Gauri, as well as Honorable A.A.G. and all other judicial officers, as well as my dear friends and senior counsels and junior advocates who have made this gathering a, remember, I mean, a memorable one. I am bound to thank them also and I pray to God as Meenakshi to shower our choices to blessings on our ACJ for a happy, joyful, healthy and wealthy, I mean future. Whatever assignments which is given to him, I am very confident that he will be fulfilling his job with all sincerity and dedication. With these words, I am bidding you go by. Thank you very much. Nidhi arasar orang orang itu, nanggalum kujum nanai deh pono. Ninggal kuri deh pul, aru deh tirpukel pesa pade kintena. Indom pesa padeum, ungal ke para tirk nanti, turandeh para turai wadang wadar kake. Indom biye general secretary K P Narayana Kumar abar kali. Parah berk. My Lord Honourable Acting Chief Justice of Madras High Court, Companion Judges of Madras High Court, Office Bearers of various bar associations. Senior Advocates, my fellow Advocates, friends, good evening to you all. The only three native judges for past 25 years who adorned the chair of Acting Chief Justice of Madras High Court is N. Dinagar J. Duriswami J. Apart from that, Honorable Justice N. Dinagar J. as well as Dunesh Swami J. hold this uh, chair for some short period. But being a son of the soil, we are really proud, Your Lordship, hold this chair for more than nine months. And, uh, and uh, we pray Meenashi for giving this opportunity for this for his Lordship to hold this chair till date. In an occasion, I happened to talk about his lordship to one of the native of Tenu. Simply I asked about his lordship and his uh, family. Uh, he was an old man. Simply he said that, Vulayim payar mulayile teriyo. Our wheatla, Vitla, Nalbir Rukanga, Ungapa, Ma, Rumba, Karara Rupanga, Urla Rumba, Eladri and Pusaliti Rupanga, the Nalbirla, Moon of the Alta Lordship. Kali le, orang tu cunna dewa versen apa dia cunna? Adi English le cunna nalar kerja, nalar dah dewa. Kali le, ar ar rekela, ur 2 kilometer nandan tu pui, wajib ella kulicit beru bare. Kulicit tu anda village le ur library erke, muda ala anda library kulo pawai. Library le ur le lama wasi mudi pawai. Adi ke perlu college books le ada tu, law books le ada tu, pakat le ur top erke, adi le ukan tu pergi pawai. Very disciplined. Yenda tea kadangkum, pakai terus le yenda tea kadangkum boh matar eh, yenda kuda terus ini cerah matar eh. Always steady, steady, steady. That hard work only place this lordship here, and we are proud lordship. And apart from that, apart from the usual court work, I had an opportunity uh, in a case of HCP, 
one man has filed an HEP petition to produce his wife before the court, raised there was a love marriage, saying that wife was in the illegal custody of her parents. Soon after, Lordship heard the issue. Lordship asked myself as well as Mrs. Chamundi Bose, our sister, uh, to mediate the issue. We called both the and pass, passed over the matter and it has been directed to us to submit the mediation report at 4 p.m. And the matter has been passed over. We asked both the parties and we inquired the parties. Originally, both the parties were very stubborn and they, the wife want to leave with the husband and she wants to go with the husband away from the parents. Subsequently, we conversating deeper, we came to know that that husband boy is totally important. And this wife, wife is thinking that it can be cured in future. That is the instruction given by the husband, that boy to the wife. That lady, that girl is totally illiterate girl and she doesn't know what is happening. And uh, subsequently she has been, uh, the reality has been uh, understood by, the, by both husband as well as wife and we have submitted a report. Immediately on seeing the report, Lordship strike. I don't know whether Lordship uh, remember it not. Lordship uh, simply mentioned, yes, you know, something strikes out my mind. So I appointed you people. And because of that, that strike, that word strike, the justice was happened. And uh, uh, the husband has filed and mutually uh, accepted to file a petition for mutual, mutual divorce and the HCP was d dismissed. That was the wisdom of Lordship. And I have, I personally I saw that wisdom. And uh, I am much thankful for your Lordship for giving such an opportunity for me as well as Shaman Dibos to, in our profession, it is an, uh, it's an uh, I think it's a bliss for me. Another, some of the very important two citation which my, uh, strikes my heart is Lord's judgment in Yari's case. Probably many of the friends uh, might have known about that case. Uh, Yari say is a very shrewd girl. Even the LKG itself, she can recite the one, uh, all the verses of thousand and the three hundred, all the verses of Tirukural. She is such a shrewd girl. And she has completed her 12th standard, even the age of 16. And she has applied for the course of BAMS, etc., BSMS, after she applied. But she, her application was rejected on the sole ground that she has not attained the age of 17. Because uh, that was the class which has been mentioned in the, uh, mentioned in the uh, rules. But uh, court interfered and the court found that she is totally eligible to be a student of BAMS. And accordingly, court directed the government to admit her in one of the private colleges. Though since she has uh, secured good marks uh, and uh, accordingly she was admitted. But subsequently that same year she filed another writ petition by saying that she hailing from a very, very, very poor uh, family. Cycle rickshaw. No, she could not adorn the fees which has been uh, stipulated by the Kanyakumara district uh, Ayurveda college and she sought for subsequent uh, re-counseling in, in and near the Chennai. That was also allowed and as Lord Chief have specifically mentioned that because of her efforts as well as because of her sincerity in the studies, this course helped her and accordingly that judgment has been praised all over India. And another one judgment, uh, Rekla case. Rekla case, uh, paragraph, in a cover the paragraph. 75th Independence Day, pursuant to the 75th Independence Day, an association wants to conduct a function, of which one of the item is Rekla race. That was not answered by the police. So subsequently, a, a petition was, a writ was moved before this Honorable Court and a uh, division by comparison of his lordship and uh, uh, another companion judge decide the issue. And his lordship returned, I just I would like to read only the fifth paragraph of that judgment. Independence Day is being celebrated by all of us on every 15th August 
to celebrate the freedom from the foreign yoke. The celebration would be marked by dancing, singing and distributing sweets and holding different cultural entertainments. Rekla Race is one of the cultural program which has been in work, work from time immemorial in India, like Jallikattu. Similarly, the youngsters and the youths in both villages and urban sites are also organizing different cultural programs and various uh, and uh, different culture and various uh, programs like kabaddi, cricket, silambam, cycle race, motor race, etc. Mark Indians' independence and also to remember the supreme sacrifice made by the people to get free from the foreign ruling. Therefore, the objection raised by the respondent that the bulls participating in the Rekla race could not be intoxicated is only based on frivolous assumption. When petitioner came forward to conduct the Rekla race as, as a part of 75th year of Indian Independence Day, we are afraid that refusing their prayer would send a message that Indians are refused to, to celebrate even the Independence Day. Therefore, the cultural program organized has to be viewed on par with competition being organized by schools and colleges and other organizations. Hence, he f we find merit and submissions. So, this, that line was very important, that we send a message that Indians are refused to celebrate even the Independence Day, because such a wisdom the Lordship is having, and large, wide knowledge and a wide wisdom of this Lordship uh, gave much benefits to this society and yes, there are several instances in Lordship cheers the mind of very common man. The strength and reputation of the judicial system rest in the hands of the judges who act fearless protectors and guardians of law. The role of his Lordship is pivotal in constitutional democracy. I think the Almighty for giving such a good judge, I thank Almighty. I thank Almighty for giving such a good judge for Madras High Court. May the Almighty bless and protect all upcoming part of this His Lordship and forever. Thank you, Lordship. Nandri Tiru Narayan Kumar Varukalai, 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 Secretary D. Good evening, everybody. We gather here today with heavy hearts to bid farewell to our most respectful, honorable acting Justice T. Raja in his 14 years of tenure as judge in our Madras High Court. Right from his Lordship's tenure as additional advocate general before elevation, his Lordship was very kind towards members of the bar and very keen to do all possible developments to the Madhuri bench. After elevation also his lordship dispensed, dispensed justice with proficiency in law with utmost humanitarian approach by interpreting law in most logical way to justice. We really proud that his lordship belongs to Madurai soil and his lordship proud his caliber as a fine chief justice for the past eight months. His lordship always has a positive approach towards our uncomparable cultures like Jallikattu and other traditional events of our villages. His Lordship concern towards the junior members of our High Court is always appreciable and unforgettable. His Lordship encouraged the juniors by all means to excel in the profession by improving their legal skills and maintaining dignity and decorum. Your Lordship's love towards this mother bench and its lawyers is so deep and strong. One of the historic milestones is designation of 18 lawyers from our mother bench as senior advocates during his tenures as Acting Chief Justice. This mass designation of senior advocates from this bench will shower so many good things in future to Madurai. This will be this will be in forever in the history of Madurai bench of Madras High Court. We are grateful to your Lordship throughout our profession and we will never forget this. Honest and personalities are a treasure to our society. Being one such treasure, I wish Honorable Lordship should continue his service to the mankind. Even after his retirement, I hope his Lordship will definitely do so. At this juncture, on behalf of MBHAA, I wish him good health and the nature will him, give him all strength and all his works of life. Thank you, Lordship. <laughs>
கணீர் வெங்கல குரலால் ரத்தின சுருக்கமாக வாழ்த்துறை வழங்கியிருக்கின்றீர்கள் நன்றி உங்களுக்கு வழக்கறிஞர்கள் சங்கத்தின் சார்பாக தொடர்ந்து வாழ்த்துறையின் நிறைவு பகுதியாக சீனியர் கவுன்சில் சார்பாக அனந்த பத்மநாபன் அவர்கள் வாழ்த்துறை வழங்க வருகின்றார்கள் Emotions can not, cannot be spelt out properly in English. It has to come from within. Therefore, I want to speak in Tamil. Manbumuhu Nidhi Arasaravarhalai Uru Vajakkaringeraha Naan Sandhi Thullet. Arunjunai Maran Enra Uru Mikachiranda Uruka Seela Nana Uru Nanbari Varai Thangalai Enakku Arimuhu Padithi Vaitar. அன்று என்னை முதல் முதலில் சந்திக்கும் பொழுது எவ்வளவு எளிமையாக இருந்தீர்களோ அதே எளிமை இன்று வரை நீங்கள் கடைபிடித்து வருவது தங்களுக்கு தங்களுடைய சிறப்பு ஒரு நூறு கேஸ் நான் அனுப்பிச்சிருந்தா ஐம்பது கேஸுக்கு ஃபீஸ் அனுப்பியிருக்க மாட்டேன் ஐம்பது கேஸில் கிளைண்ட் நேர போய் பாருன்ற பிப்டி பர்சன்ட் நாட் ஐம்பது நம்பர்ல பிப்டி பர்சன்ட் நான் ரூபா அனுப்பிச்சாலும் அனுப்பாட்டாலும் தங்களுடைய உழைப்பு அந்த தராசு எப்போதுமே மாறினது கிடையாது அவ்வளவு உழைப்பு கொடுத்துருக்கீங்க ஒரு கேஸில் மேஜிஸ்ட்ரேட் கோர்ட்டுக்கு ஒரு அக்யூஸ்டை பிடிச்சிட்டு வந்துட்டாங்க டென் இயர்ஸ்க்கு முன்னால் அந்த கேஸில் ஒரு அக்யூஸ்டை பிடிச்சி கொண்டு வந்து அரெஸ்ட் பண்ணி ரிமாண்ட் பண்ணிட்டாங்க இ ஜம்ஸ் பெயில் பத்து வருஷமா தேடிட்டு இருக்கிறாங்க அந்த ஆள் மேஷேட் கூப்பிட்டு கத்து கத்து கத்தி பார்ப்பவர்களுக்கு எவனையும் ஒருத்தனை பிடிச்சிட்டு வந்துட்டாங்க இவன் தான் அவன் அப்படின்னு நான் மேஜிஸ்ட்ரேட்ட போய் சி ஐடென்டிஃபிகேஷன் ஆஃப் பிரிசனர்ஸ் ஆக்ட் ஒன்று இருக்கு தா மச்சம் தழும்புலாம் குறிப்பீங்க தயவுசெய் செக் பண்ணுங்க ரெக்கார்ட்ஸ் காணும் டென் இயர்ஸ் ஓல்டு ரெக்கார்ட் சரி டென் டேஸ் உனக்கு டைம் தரேன் நீ வந்து ப்ராப்பராக ஒரு எடுத்து பெயில் எடுத்து இல்லாட்டா ப்ரூவ் பண்ணிட்டு வா உடனே நான் ஹைகோர்ட்டில் ஒரு பெட்டிஷன் போடுறேன் ஹைலைட்டிங் தி ஆப்ஜெக்ட் அண்ட் ஸ்கோப் அண்ட் பர்பஸ் ஆஃப் ஐடென்டிஃபிகேஷன் ஆஃப் ப்ரிசனர்ஸ் ஆக்ட் அது நான் நீதியரசரின் பேரை சொல்ல விரும்பவில்லை அவர் வந்து நியூ மேட்ராக இருக்குது நான் படிச்சுட்டு ஒன் வீக் கழிச்சு அட்ஜன்மெண்ட் போடுறேன் ஒன் வீக் இட் வாஸ் அட்ஜன்ட் அந்த நெக்ஸ்ட் வீக் த ஜட்ஜ் செட் இவன் மொத்தம் தானே மாட்டியிருக்கான் இவன் எப்படி விடுறதுன்ட்டார் the highest forum in the state evlo humiliating ah boiling ah irundhukum parunga i wrote a statement what in the liberty na enna idala pirinji manasula irundha kovathalla pirinji oru oru essay type panni lordship gunster please do the needful oru oru varam kalichi enakku oru sir phone pandrar nee enna eliniyo மாத்தாம அப்படியே போட்டே ஆர்டர் ஆயிடுச்சு ஒண்ணு வேற முஞ்சு மொத்தம் கீழே இருந்து எழுதியிருக்கா அப்பெல்லாம் அப்பதான் ஹைகோர்ட்டுக்கு போயிட்டு இருக்கோம் வென் அந்த பவுண்டேஷன் ஸ்டோன் வாஸ் லேட் ஹியர் ஐ வென் டு மெட்ராஸ் பிஃபோர் த டைம் அண்ட் ஆர்டினரி செஷன்ஸ் அண்ட் மேஜிஸ்ட்ரேட் கோர்ட் ப்ராக்டிஷனர் ஈ குட் ஹவ் தாட் சி ஆஃப்டர் ஆல் அ பர்சன் ஃப்ரம் டிஸ்ட்ரிக் கோர்ட் ஐ எம் இந்த சுப்ரீம் கோர்ட் ஐ ஷுட் rewrite it i should correct it nothing what i had written was placed before the supreme court and he got an order ada konnu keela magistrate court la ponona magistrate ku kekkar enna puriyala na sonna naan avan illai idha matter and the magistrate later a district judge aagi vallinai sara paathu oru edathla enna pathi solluga and naan avan illai eppadi irukkar appadi and the theme கிறிஸ்பா புரிஞ்சுக்கிட்டு எஃபெக்டிவாக ஆர்கியூ பண்ண மை லார்ட் யூஆர் ஹியர் அஸ் அ சீஃப் ஆக்டிங் சீஃப் எல்லாரும் உங்களுக்கு போஸ்ட் ரிட்டையர்மெண்ட் அது இதெல்லாம் சி ஆஸ் அ லாயர் வி ஹவ் மெனி ரோல்ஸ் டிஃபென்ஸ் லாயர் ப்ரைவேட் கம்ப்ளைண்ட் ப்ராக்டிஷனர் ப்ராசிக்யூட்டர் அட்வொகேட் ஜெனரல் நவ் ஜட்ஜ் யூ ஆர் கோயிங் டு ரீ டிஸ்கவர் த லைஃப் ஆஃப் அன் அட்வொகேட் இன் த சுப்ரீம் கோர்ட் அகேன் and we are waiting for that opportunity to send the briefs to you to continue the old relationship we had you were such a good person and we are all always be with you and i wish 
and I pray God as Meenakshi will shower every good thing in her life and he will get on, get on her because you are very honest. Thank you very much. Nandri Ayya, Yetthanai Suvaykal Irundhalam Nagachuvai Pool Varadu Enbadal Nagachuvai Yodu Kalandu Valtturai Valangi Inda Arangatthai Kalakalakka Vaitthulli Irukal Ungalukku Nandri Inda Vali Enupu Vila Kuritthu Irandavara Mandukalakku Munbaiye Valluva Purundakai Alakaka Uru Thirukkurali Sulli Irukkintar Uloppa Thalaikkoodi Ullla Puridhal Anitthai Pulavar Tholi Irukkintar Sulli Irukkintar Aringirukal Allam Mahilindu Uundu Koodi Vittu Inni Iwarai Yepodu Kaanpoom Inru Kata kata pargalam, apadu orang arimian darat tila, ini villa naikkan, yer purai warangka kudiya neeram, mawang mungkin ni di arah server kel, itu yer purai warangka warikin dar, warke tanggulai yer purai itu arif. Good evening to all of you. I really do not know how to thank you in words. I take this opportunity to thank every one of the associations for coming together to. Give me farewell today during this summer vacation. Many people caution me, please accept your uh, farewell before the court goes for vacation. I said, then some of my good friends in Delhi, they said, don't accept, don't give, you know, don't take a you know, farewell one month before that. And then I was also telling them, there won't be any crowd if I am uh, taking during this vacation. This has been disproved by the Madhuri Bar Association. Not even some only People are only standing over there. It indicates that they do not have space to sit. And more than that, I was just sitting here and watching. When people are all entering inside. Myself and my sister, today, while hearing uh, many cases, got slightly disturbed, then imposed a cost of rupees, 50,000 rupees against one. Yes. Look at the beauty. The lawyer is here now. It is really pinching me very badly. It is you have imposed a cost of rupees 50,000, then I modified to 25,000 rupees. I have not even changed it, but look at the gentleman is sitting over there. I do not know his name. <laughs> so I have not even signed it. Don't worry. <laughs> Of course, I will take a leave from my sister, then I will try to still modify it. President of MBA, Secretary, Mr. R. Venkateshan, Mr. Suresh, M.K. Suresh, President of MBA, Mr. Venkateshan, General Secretary, Mr. V. Ramakrishnan, President of Maha. Secretary, Mr. V. S. Karthi, Maha. General Secretary, Mr. Narayana Kumar. Andiraj, President, MBHA. Secretary, Anbarasu. Anandavalli is missing, but uh, Krishnaveni has come. General Secretary, Women Advocates Association. And I must thank my brother and sisters for having taken out valuable time to come and grace this occasion. I must mention all of your names. Mr. Isaac Mohanlal, Singhara Velan, Vangatramana, Mahendran, Sehar, Kindly forgive me for not you know, mentioning all of you because I have to mention everybody. Then class 14 will come. <laughs> then I have to say goodbye only after mentioning your name. I may not be able to share my views on that on today. Several things I wanted to share with you, but however, I must taking into account the passage of time. I will say only a few words, then I will rest. There was a committee, a general, United General Assembly has constituted a committee. The reference given to the committee was, you just find out which profession should be given the date of retirement and which committee should not be given the retirement. 
Blumber and Carpenter they came to the committee. They said we don't have retirement age because any time we can go and then repair any leakage is there in the water pipe, in the bathroom any seepage is there. The plumber says we don't have time. We can do that. They said no. Little energy is required because you have to take the implement. You have to take the uh, the you know uh, table chair. Uh, after some time, you may not have that energy. Therefore, please go out. We will not include your name in that. So you need retirement date. Please go. Similarly, carpenter also came. Same response. A doctor came. They said, uh, "You see, we don't uh, require any retirement age. Therefore, please include our name." So, medician is one of the profession. It doesn't require retirement. Then the answer from the committee was: You should require minimum vision and minimum the minimum hearing capacity. So, after passage of time, then you may lose both. Therefore, you don't you don't deserve to be in included. You can also go. We don't. You also need retirement age. Politician came. You know that we can sit and then we can do the work. So we don't. We are not required to maintain good health. Therefore, please include our name to say that the politicians do not require retirement age. Then the reply was: At least during the election campaigning, you must uh, undertake a long journey. They are also required minimum energy to stand up on the van, and then you must you know, wave your hands to your voters. After some time, you may lose the energy. Therefore, we also we are not willing to include your name. Finally, lawyers came. The lawyer committee represented, saying, "You tell us why." The committee was asking why we should include your name. Why we should say that you don't require retirement. Please don't fix up retirement age to us. Even while Bettyton also we can give opinion. Based on their opinion, argument can be you know heard. Today, the VC has come while you know sitting on the uh, bed. We can just argue the case. It doesn't require. So therefore, the law is the profession. It doesn't require any retirement. When I was just entering into the uh, podium, I have seen many faces, but the two faces were glowing with uh, a large amount of smiles. One is Isaac Bolal, another one is Singara Velan. You know why? They are all thinking that I am retiring. They they don't have the retirement age. <laughs> but you remember, after retirement, I will come back to the lawyer profession. So, the profession which we have been for quite long time made me a successful lawyer. You know how this small Raja has become successful lawyer. I must share so that it may be useful to you also. I was enrolled as an advocate on 22nd June 1988. And started practicing the Madras High Court both on the original side and in the appellate side. In the morning time, I used to go to the city civil court. After the trial work is over, I was supposed to go to the High Court. My senior Sri C. Selvaraju was a government advocate during that time. Therefore, I was fortunate enough to learn both original side and appellate side works simultaneously. My senior never came to the uh, trial court because he was a government advocate, heavily engaged in the Madras High Court. He was a corporation lawyer, Chennai corporation lawyer. Never visited the city civil court. I took it as an advantage. I used to draft petition, counter, and then I used to prepare for cross-examination, chief examination, re-examination, argument, and also appeal. 
you know most of the time the corporation will be losing the cases most of the time so he will have to file most many of the appeals now after some time i went to the apex court after 18 years of my practice in february 2008 i came here as an additional advocate general at madurai bench after 15 months time on 313 2009 i became a judge of this court during my practice i have seen legendary lawyers in supreme court like mr ramjeet malani former minister of law today i am having the gas connection given by sri ramjeet malani because my marriage was fixed on 31st january 1994 you know in 1991 92 getting phone connection is not ordinary joke very difficult you have to wait for 2 years 3 years similarly getting gas connection is also it's not ordinary affair today you can just throw money and can get it and then you can get it connected but in 2000 1994 i booked but i was waiting in line and then uh, finally i decided i i must go and ask mr ramjeet malani when i went to him he said without even looking at my face look at the greatness of how the seniors have helped the juniors that you should also do the same thing you are just going front side then i was going back side i went to him telling that sir i member of the bar then he looked at back side with a full robe then look at it i can make out from your full robe you are member of the bar tell me young man i said sir this is i just booked it but i am not getting it is it possible can you give me a coupon look at it hey rajesh sir come here give saab sir ek you know uh, coupon uh, gas connection coupon look at the beauty i immediately drove from supreme court to the ferrosa row <coughs> there i was offered a coffee look at it it was 4 o'clock or 4:30 there is no need to treat a junior who is unknown a senior has to be like that only then our profession can progress i was offered coffee within 2 minutes i was issued with a coupon this is how a senior has to behave this is how the profession has to be given uplift so i think i must remember mr ramjeet malani the former law minister mr k parasharan former attorney general for india and i have also seen legendary lawyers like g ramasamy former attorney general for india mr k k venugopal former attorney general for india mr a k sen former union law minister mr soni sharab ji mr hari salve senior lawyers hari ma sundaram mr gopal subramaniam i have learned a lot from them i used to watch their arguments before the court i used to listen to their conversations with their colleagues and the junior members of the bar the point is this at no point of time i have ever seen either mr g ramasamy or k parasaran or k k venugopal raising their voices or shouting at the court they were always humble and polite to the court even if there were any nasty questions put to them by the court one day sambandhi of justice d raju jagannathan who is no more came to engage me it was a very big case 33 acres of prime land at the outskirt of chennai were acquired by the housing board government for the housing board before the single judge they challenged unsuccessfully the four notification and also the six notification award they lost before the division bench they succeeded i do not want to go into the naughty issues but i am telling you how a lawyer has to be there this may be useful to you mr jagannathan came and he said uh, i will just you know have a meeting we will have a meeting in my sambandhi's house d raju is it possible can we go there he will call me 
Why are you holding a meeting there? A very upright judge. I said, please come to my chamber. We'll have a meeting, we'll have coffee, then we'll discuss this matter. It was about 2 o'clock, they gave me the time. Then I shot 2 o'clock. I was just coming, running to my chamber. They looked at me, sir, we gave you 2 o'clock, but at 2 o'clock sharp you are coming. By chance I came, 2 o'clock. <laughs> then I thought, yes, I always maintain, you know, the timing. Then he was mentioning to other people. Supreme Court lawyer has to maintain the timing. So you have to maintain the time, therefore I am telling you. Then we had a discussion, decided to engage Mr. K. Parasharan. Government file appeal, I have entered caveat. Mr. Parasharan, we approached. He said, after the government file appeal, the Raja please come two days or three days before the matter is listed because you will get the advance listing. Three days or two days before, please come and meet me. And then the advance list came, matter was filed, and then telephoned to them. His PA told me, Sar is there in the court number seven, so he can come and meet during the lunch time. There in Supreme Court, one to two is the lunch time. 12.45, I went there. He was on his legs, arguing before the bench. I waited, the bell to go. One o'clock, the bench rose for lunch break. He came out, I said, sir, good afternoon, Raja. You know what was the reply I received? Mr. Raja, I gave you time during lunch time to discuss about the matter which is coming after two days. You see, very naughty, very complex you know, questions these judges have put to me. I'm just thinking about that case only. Therefore, do not discuss this matter. I may not be able to concentrate on the reply, which I'm going to give it at two o'clock. Look at the beauty. Lawyer has to concentrate. When you have the case, it is not just like that. You can just go and say something to the court, and then terrible judge like, you know, Justice Dharani, Tarani, Terrible judge like you know, Justice you know, Vadamalai will not listen, will not be able to give you relief. You are supposed to make argument, submissions, statement appealable to the court, appealable to the heart. We just sit here, we wait for a good lawyer to make a pleasant presentation before the court. Every sentence you are going to mention is going to be recorded. Don't think that we just, out of our wisdom, our knowledge, our, you know, intelligence, we are making the judgment. That is the landmark judgment. The landmark judgments are all product of your argument, your ideas. But we give a patient hearing and we will present it in a way which is appealable to the people, readers. The entire credit will have to go to the members of the bar. This is how one has to learn. I just thought, the man who became Attorney General for the nation. I had to learn something from him. He said, see, I am on my leg, two o'clock, I don't know what type of questions are going to come from the bench. And if I devote my time during this time, my attention will be completely divested. I may not be able to recoup and then go back to the court and argue the case. So, please, please, can you come to my, you know, house at five o'clock or six o'clock? We will have a discussion. This is how one has to learn. I learned. And then, when you have a case, maybe two cases or three cases, you people will be having more cases also. Some people I know that even 17 cases, you know, you people will be having. 15 cases you'll be having. But even if you have one case, in those days when I was a briefless lawyer, you will have one case, two cases, three cases. This is how you will build up. When, you have, when I had one or two cases, you will not believe it. Brother, my friend Ramas, Ramakrishnan was mentioning, he was not sleeping. How do I sleep? Because unless you understand, unless you keep ready to present before the court, sometimes the court will be soft court, maybe very kind-hearted court. Sometimes the court will be, you know that, very tough court. I am telling you, there are many terrible inner courts. And one says terrible is going to retire. We will be happy now. 
point is you must all the time think about your case when you are going on work money work you will be thinking about your case i would tell you wisdom will dawn in your mind very naughty issue can be easily effortlessly you can just meet it out think about the case do not all the time don't be over smart i know that but i will manage the show that tendency if you have it then that will be the day where you will slip down so mr parasaran i have learnt how to prepare a case how to think about your case and this is how you have to today i'm just a party with you my experience to you please be serious when the court is there i have seen many people they even sitting inside the court i tell you one day when judges are sitting and then discussing you must concentrate what is the discussion going over there are they going to support your case or going to yes against you only then you will be able to save your client only then you will be able to argue properly and get a good remedy from the court good relief from the court so on many occasions i brief mr k parasaran k k venugopal mr f s nariman and mr rohin tanariman i must tell you when i was one day briefing the father nariman f s nariman whatever the questions yes posted i was having all the answers in my counter i said sir if you see the counter you will be able to do are forget about your famous counter tell me now sometimes it may look like be littling your effort your your you know your get up but don't get discouraged dissuaded by this type of remarks they are all they are all stylish people age is another factor and they will be joyfully asking some question don't get offended and these are all the things you have to and then what happened ultimately in that case we succeeded yes on many occasions during the briefing time put me in inconvenience then what happened after the matter was over we got a good order i went to him to thank he said he patted and said don't worry sometimes you know we old man behave like this only so sometimes old man you may have to meet to brief him he may also according to him misbehave but don't take it that way you have to succeed in your profession and then almost copying all these the styles whom i mentioned the style of the senior councils i have imitated partly but i cannot imitate fully with which i practiced this is how i became if you think that i become successful lawyer i have really become a successful lawyer only by imitating copying and then really putting my hard work coming to the judgeship i have seen legendary lawyers arguing before me junior lawyers senior lawyers even party in presence on many occasions i could have lost my temper for the reason that some of the junior members of the bar were unable to present their cases before the court in the manner required when there was no clarity and when there is no any point made out by them i generally get annoyed it will be difficult to follow sometimes when you just go through the, some of the cases which he wanted to admit allow you know some junior members or even some senior members they collapse they just you know spoil the case i get irritated i would be expecting he should come to that point he won't be coming to the point then i used to <laughs> i used to take my whip and then shout at them this is how i used to get sometimes irritated therefore a lawyer has to have a clarity in briefing and presenting the points appealable to the court so that the court will be able to give clear and suitable relief to the litigant to become a successful lawyer a lawyer must know more than the opposite side and he should also know more than the judge don't think that by just reading your brief 
you can just go and meet out the arguments the reply going to be given by other side a good lawyer is one if he knows more than the opposite side you know why the opposite side will not rise in objection he will slowly sit down knowing pretty well that yes this man is coming to the point i do not have a reply so he will slow down similarly the lawyer who is going to learn more than the judge a judge maximum number of questions he will put only five questions because he will be having 70 matters 60 matters so 70 questions we can put we have to go to the 70 matters so one or two or three questions we used to put if you are able to answer then i will look at the other side and the other side also my brother or sister will look at very difficult to time this man will grant notice and then if they ask stay yes so you must also know more than your law opposite side and more than that you must know more than the judge how is a question now put your hard work how you can put your hard work very interesting thing i must tell you to the members of the madri bar today we think of course see tamil i love more than anybody else but english if you want to make your bread and butter as a lawyer i tell you i want you develop the ability to speak write your petition in english if you have good proficiency in english you will be able to become the very very successful lawyer i tell you the reason don't mistake me once you are chosen to become a lawyer english is a must how it is a must bail petition has to be prepared only in english in high court tamil cannot be entertained your client has to be prepared only in uh, english in the high court written statement english and more than that we are going to argue or when you are going to brief your lawyer appellate lawyer in high court you must know english you must have the command over the english language and then if you are going to supreme court your matter is you know you won in the high court somebody has filed your opposite side must have filed appeal notice is issued to you you must come you must come and engage the your advocate to defend your case to defend the judgment passed by the high court in your favor if you do not know english how you will be able to brief the senior lawyers practice in the apex court english is a must and today it has become a universal language please understand this is one of the secret of success i am parting with you today people think no oh, we don't have a command in english have a command in drafting your petition have a command how simple logic simple secret i would tell you read a good english newspaper listen to the news the english channels this is how the junior members of the bar can easily acquire the english language with which you can conquer any court any judge any opposite party that you must know that so after improving your ability in english language english cannot be treated as a foreign language once you become a lawyer you are required to practice not only in the trial court but also in the high court and supreme court therefore you are supposed to acquire and develop huge ability in english and then coming to yet another important thing you must keep yourself informed of the latest case laws of your own high court and supreme court sometimes the judges will be asking you have any judgment support your prayer readily you must be in a position to give at least one or two judgments not more than that one or two judgments clear judgment if you are able to produce then the court will immediately suspend your argument issue notice and would grant you the relief <laughs> when you find time you must also come to the court and sit inside the court and always watch the arguments advanced by the other lawyers i tell you as a lawyer 
no one would be able to tell you what is a fair no one would be able to tell you what is a charge sheet no one would be able to tell you what is chief examination cross examination re examination all these things except some few good seniors nobody else will tell you you have to come to the court court is the place of learning court is the place of wisdom the court is a place of enlightenment when you have time take it as a policy take it as a principle as you are visiting the library to read books you must visit a good court hall where good debate will be there there you have to listen to the court there you have to listen how a senior members of the bar who will not be able to disclose the secret of success he will be just exhibiting before the court and there you have to learn a lot don't think that i have no case therefore i will not go to the court don't commit a mistake if you do not have a case go to the court spare at least some time maybe half an hour maybe one hour maybe 20 minutes see if vengatramana is coming let us see how this vengatramana is going to play his game if isaac molal is coming how isaac molal is going to open up the service matters the singara velan is coming how this man is going to shout he is always shouting how he is going to shout as usual this is how you have to learn court is the open place of learning like the buddha has got enlightenment wisdom this is the only place you can learn you must be knowing in mahabharata yegalevan one day yegalevan was going to dronacharya and he said to who are you he said i am orphan thinking that you know, he is going to 100% support him and thinking that he is going to give him food give him you know dress going to adopt him i am orphan who oh, you are orphan so you do not know your father mother get lost from the place go away you are nobody to come near to my ashram get lost this man got terribly offended oh i see he went back hiding from a bush he was watching how this man has been teaching the the secret of archery to arjuna every day he was watching sleeping sitting inside lying inside one day an opportunity came a dog came started barking and then started biting him just use his archery by using the the skills the gentleman has completely closed his the dog's mouth the dog was running here and there with pain dronacharya saw the dog and then he saw he see he was asking where is uh, arjuna arjuna is the, he's just you know he has gone to fetch water kalam arjuna you have just you know uh, uh, shot this an arrows on this you know uh, dog no guru ji then who else has done it then they said see the blood is oozing they started from the place where the blood was you know found ultimately they found a place where this poor orphan was sitting over there yegal even then they asked how this has happened then he said yes i learned from only dronacharya then in those days the rule was dronacharya was appointed as a teacher only to teach to the royal family he is not supposed to teach to the non royal family like you and i like you and i means not, not you <laughs> see he has breached the promise dronacharya question enquiry was hell see we have been seeing you are not teaching properly to the our uh, you know uh, our family children but you are teaching you are taking classes to the other people also then ultimately he said no i am not i am not you know finding time where is the question of going outside from the ashram and then taking classes to this poor fellow then ultimately he went to him and then asked for gurudachana give me your one of the fingers i am not just divesty from that point is you have to learn this is a point a lawyer has to learn how to present the case a lawyer has to learn how to argue 
a lawyer has to know how to give a reply and if it is a very good case how your modulation should be there how your voice should be there if it is a bad case how you should act this are all the area unless you just spend some reasonable time in the court i am telling you courts are not ordinary places it's a place where all the legendary figures the person with unlimited wisdom will be coming waiting to display their 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 intelligence their wisdom their skillful drafting the skillful arguments please go there if you ask on the corridor nobody will tell you anything else secretly follow him and then you will be able to see how all these you know the dian the legendary figures would be present in their cases this is how you have to learn very easy see you can dispense with visiting your library do not ever dispense with visiting the court halls till the last date you must visit the court and you must get benefit out of that the another aspect is if you have <coughs> good reading more will be the knowledge you can acquire if you have less reading less will be your experience less will be your intelligent less will be your skills if you read more and more will be your cases and more will be your wisdom and more will be your knowledge and more relief you can get from the court and the sky will be your limit therefore try to learn more whenever you have you find time try to read some good books so that you can just adopt the uh, drafting style from various books and in legal profession you must also know that there is no time time limit for work there is no office hour a lawyer has to have outstanding memory you know the memory i will tell you one interesting aspect then i will rest i can keep on but you know the point is you know you have to go back there was a very interesting case you all people should know a historical uh, event very very interesting bench consisting of the chief justice kajendra katkar and justice r s pachavat in the year 1960 you all people know justice ratnam father visuna sastri he was one of the judges retired from madras high court he went to practice in supreme court he was arguing a case before the first court justice kajendra katkar chief justice and this justice pachavat in the middle of 1960 when he was arguing the case justice pachavat told visuna sastri this mr visuna sastri you don't know that the judgment has been completely you know cover your case you don't have a case don't argue the case anymore father visuna sastri kept quiet for 2 minutes yes my lord yes my lord your lordship is partly right but your lordship knows that this is the only privy council judgment very heavily adversely commented by the halsbury law of england in volume number 2 in page number 82 rajendra karkar suspended the hearing order the librarian to bring this you know halsbury law of england and also the privy council judgment he he said all right we will just examine whether this is bachavat you know observation is correct or visunath sastri's an argument is correct ultimately when they went through that visunath sastri's argument was appealed and then they dismissed the remarks made by bachavat you have to have the memory outstanding memory what is outstanding memory don't think that it is by birth i tell you how to cultivate your memory point out just list out if you are going to have two cases three cases just make in small pages five points or 10 points just repeatedly just look into that whenever you find time and then when the matter is called out you can just argue the case you have to cultivate your memory very easy a lawyer has to have the outstanding memory this can be easily cultivated that you have to do it 
coming to the two other interesting aspect which i want to give it to exclusively to the junior members of the bar not to the senior members there was a person called damasthenes he was born in 384 bc in greece why i am telling you is he was the first orator in the world damasthenes look at the beauty he was born as a stammerer he had a speaking disability he cannot be able to he cannot speak properly he cannot speak fluently so articulate defect he was not able to speak freely look at in those days before christ was born his family members because they he hailed from good family advised him to put pebbles in his mouth and train yourself speak run and then you speak this gentleman has followed scrupulously and became one of the greatest orator in the world and then whenever the alexander the great father philips 2 has committed some human right violation in those days we are arresting without inquiry you know putting them inside the jail killing them in those days he only voiced he just told the people what you are doing is misrule please do not do that respect the subjects respect the citizens this man has grown up to the greater height people listen to him ultimately the king also started changing his misrule into a good rule all because of the ability to speak to the people my point is when Demosthenes who was born as a stammerer was able to become one of the best orator in the world even before Chris was born you are all born without any defect why can't you improve your speech your you are you know speech therapy you are you know speaking ability yet another very interesting aspect you all people know nani palgiwala nobody can forget nani palgiwala today you are enjoying democracy today you know what is called the basic structure theory nobody can think of it nobody can one another person should should take birth we always owe our allegiance to the great man the legendary figure nani palgiwala if you see the judgment one of the greatest judgment the supreme court has given to us is holiness case of ananda bharati case what is the basic structure theory court said you have parliament all the powers but the basic structures cannot be middle with cannot be touched upon and then the court has laid on what is the basic structure unity and integrity secularism independent judiciary judicial review goes on like this so this gentleman was born as a stammerer do you know that nani palki wala was born in a small carpenter's family the family was making assembling and building only parent queen in maharashtra can you just ever think of it i tell you a very interesting aspect when nani palki wala was born as a stammerer in a very very poorest family carpenter's family that is called a family men for making only parent queen he was also following the same style of tamasthenes putting the pebbles in his mouth and started training himself standing in front of the mirror and then he used to give some oration give you know something he used to you know, speak to the mirrors this is how this gentleman has cultivated his his speaking ability gone up to the greater height nobody would be able to touch that height my point is this when the people who are born with the stammer stammering the stammer ability people who are born as a stammerer when with usual when you are when the regular training are able to come up to the life and they gone to the greater height why can't we at least imitate and follow the style i tell you one more small thing when morali the government came to power it is on record history 
Prime Minister Muradi Zai called up the former Prime Minister Vajbai. He was the external affairs minister. He said, the relationship between India and US has gone down very badly. Very badly strained. And we are not able to you know, import anything from export, import is completely deteriorated. So how do we import, how do we export? So it is going on for almost 50 years. You do one thing. Just go to Bombay, meet Nani Palkiwala. This gentleman has already refused to become Supreme Court judge. Please go and tell him whether he will be able to accept the assignment of going as a India's ambassador to US so that he will be able to convince the president, other ministers and then the trade and commerce relationship will be built. As a result, the India's economy can be brought up. Vajbhai went to Bombay, went to his office. After meeting Nani Palkiwala, he said, my leader has sent me here to find out your willingness to become so and so. A small assignment, a big assignment is going to be given to you, going to be given to you. Uh, sir, you have to accept it. He was under the impression that he will be readily accepting that. As usual, he said, no, I have other private work. You are asking me to go to US as India's ambassador, then when I will come back? How do I answer this thing? I am not going to leave my country. I am not going to leave Maharashtra. He refused. Look at the beauty. After long discussion, Marathan discussion, when he failed to impress upon Nani Palkiwala, Vajibai said, Thank you. I see you later. Then he said, When are you going? I am not going to Delhi. I am going to sit in Dharna in front of your house till you are going to say yes to me. Look at the reputation of a lawyer. Look at the ability of a lawyer. A lawyer has to be like that. See, they, they have many people, they have had many people, but they thought this lawyer will be the only lawyer will be able to perfect and cultivate the strained relationship between the two countries. To that extent, I wish you must grow up. So therefore, the basic qualification, the basic qualities one a lawyer has to possess ability to speak clearly, not speak. The ability to speak with all 100% clarity. You must be very brief. I am telling you, many people, you cross your limit in the sense, one hour, there is no need for speaking, one hour, half an hour. Briefly, as I mentioned to you, court is having 70 matters. I am disclosing today the secret. 70 matters, admission matters. If you, are, if you have two cases, item number 2 and item number 70. If you argue two hours in the item number 2, do you think that your case will be taken up 70 items? This should be your approach. Point out only the, the very, very crucial point. Save the time. Once you are able to save the time, I tell you, today in India, we have three and a half to four crores of cases pending. If you are able to be very clear, if you are able to be very, very brief to the court, the tendency of the cases also can be easily disposed of. And I tell you one thing, Mr. Ramakrishnan is here. Sale deed, you are preparing 10 pages, 15 pages. It cannot exceed more than one and a half pages. Seller, buyer, and the consideration, passing the consideration, that's all. Why are you unnecessarily in a going exceeding more than three pages? The, look at the problem. When the sale deed is presented before the court, trial court, you have to read from top to bottom, all five pages, six pages, ten pages, sometimes fifteen pages. Sale deed, where have you seen? Section 54 of the Transfer Property Act will take care of the sale deed. If you are brief, one and a half pages. I am purchasing. So and so is you know, selling. This is a sale consideration. End of the case. Where is the need for you know, exceeding more than two pages? Section 54 will take care. Once the consideration is passed from one hand to another hand, the position is given. That's all. End of the case. You should be very, very brief. 
whichever wherever you are supposed to be in the court arguing the matter be brief and once you are brief the judge also will love will like you hey, this man will not take my time very valuable time yes he will come to the point yes i will also come to relief now one has to learn many good things and finally i can say only one thing that like dr ambedkar who is the father of indian constitution <coughs> there was a person called james medition the father of us constitution he said if the government is run by angels if the government is run by the angels there is no need for opening a police station there is no necessity to open court there is no need or necessity to open revenue department except opening schools colleges and health center hospitals in the alternative james medition also said if the people are angels angels will be fair both looking at them and then mind wise heart wise they will be fair will be very reasonable impartial therefore james medition said if the people are citizens are angels again he said there is no need or necessity to open a police station court revenue department except opening schools colleges and hospitals because these are all very badly required i would say lawyers i am really meaning lawyers are angels you know why don't think that lawyers are there only to get the bail order anticipate the bail order injunction order lawyers are there even to help the temple by restoring the temple property to the temple they are helping the temple today like the man missing the woman missing idols are also missing the god is missing the lawyer is bringing the case to the court and then getting the inquiry done and ultimately the stolen property the stolen deity vishnu or murugan or ganesha title are restored back lawyer is an angel how to be an angel be reasonable fair and don't always think about money when opportunity comes try to help i help i am standing before you thank you very much for the opportunity given மிக்க நன்றி ஐயா மிக சுவையான நிறைவான செறிவான பேச்சு பொதுவாக ஏற்புரையில் தன்னுடைய சாதனை பற்றி தான் ஏற்புரையாளர்கள் சொல்வார்கள் ஆனால் மாண்புமிகு நீதியர் சவர்கள் மிகச்சிறப்பாக தமஸ்தனிஸ் ஏகலைவன் அலெக்சாண்டர் தொடங்கி நாணி பல்கிவாலா வரை எவ்வளவு உதாரணங்கள் எவ்வளவு செய்திகளை இந்த வழக்கறிஞர்களுக்காக எடுத்து வந்து வழக்கறிஞர்கள் கடின உழைப்பு விடாமுயற்சி தன்னம்பிக்கை வழக்குகளை எதிர்கொள்ளும் திறனால் எப்படி அவர்கள் முன்னேற வேண்டும் என்பதற்காக வழக்கறிஞர்களுக்காகவே இன்றைய பேச்சை எடுத்து வந்து பேசி எங்களை மகிழ்வித்துள்ள நிறைவான பேச்சை நிகழ்ந்துள்ளோம் நன்றி ஐயா விழாவின் நிறைவு பகுதிக்கு வந்திருக்கின்றோம் நன்றியுரை நல்குவதற்கு முன்பாக வழக்கறிஞர்கள் மரியாதை செய்யும் நேரம் நீதி அரசவர்களுக்கு வழக்கறிஞர்கள் மரியாதை செய்கின்றார்கள்
விழா நாயகன் மாண்புமிகு நீதியரசர் அவர்களுக்கு பொன்னாடை போர்த்தி கௌரவிக்கக்கூடிய இந்த தருணத்திலே உங்களுடைய கைதட்டல்களை பாராட்டுகளை வழங்குமாறு உங்களை விழா குழுவின் சார்பாக அன்போடு கேட்டுக்கொள்கின்றோம் உங்களை வாழ்த்த வயது இல்லை ஐயா நாங்கள் வணங்குகின்றோம் அபிராமி பட்டர் சொன்ன பதினாறு செல்வங்களான கலையாத கல்வி குறையாத வயது ஒரு கபடுவாராத நட்பு கன்றாத வளமை குன்றாத இளமை கழுபிணி இல்லாத உடல் சளியாத மனம் அன் பகலாத மனைவி தவறாத சந்தானம் தாளாத கீர்த்தி மாறாத வார்த்தை தடைகள் வாராத கொடை என தொலையாத நிதியம் கோணாத கோலம் ஒரு துன்பம் இல்லாத வாழ்வும் போன்ற பதினாறு செல்வங்களும் பெற்று நீங்கள் பெருவாழ்வு வாழ என்று வாழ்த்தி சால்வை அணிவித்த அனைத்து வழக்கறிஞர் பெருமக்களுக்கும் நன்றியினை விழாக்குழுவின் சார்பாக தெரிவித்துக் கொள்கின்றோம் இப்பொழுது முறையாக நன்றி செலுத்தக்கூடிய நேரம் நன்றியுரை நல்க வருகின்றார் கிருஷ்ணவேணி அவர்கள் உமன்ஸ் அசோசியேஷன் ஜெனரல் செக்ரட்டரி ஹானரபிள் மிஸ்டர் ஜஸ்டிஸ் டி ராஜா ஹானரபிள் ஜஸ்டிஸ் தாரணி ஜே ஹானரபிள் ஜஸ்டிஸ் கே கே ராமகிருஷ்ணன் ஹானரபிள் ஜஸ்டிஸ் வடமலை ஹானரபிள் ஜஸ்டிஸ் விக்டோரியா கௌரி சீனியர் கவுன்சில் லா ஆஃபீஸர்ஸ் அட்வொகேட்ஸ் மை டியர் ஃப்ரெண்ட்ஸ் அ குட் ஈவினிங் டு ஒன் அண்ட் ஆல் ஐ எம் பெஸ்டோட் வித் வித் திஸ் ப்ரிவிலேஜ் அண்ட் ஹானர் டு பி ப்ரெசென்டிங் வோட் ஆஃப் தேங்க்ஸ் on this important occasion on behalf of all the bar associations mba maha mmba mbha and waa to speak a few words about his lordship justice t raja the honorable acting chief justice of madras high court we all would stand testament to the fact that he has been one of the kindest judges that this honorable court has seen he has always been a relief oriented judge who had tried his best to tweak the law to help the needy thank you judge for being so kind to our he has always been ready to redress the grievances faced by bar i also take immense pride to say that i hail from a village very near to the one our son of soil hails from that is kodimangalam 5 kilometers away from tenur i am indeed proud of my lord his lordship's lecture on basic structure of the constitution of india in 2019 would serve as a visual textbook on the subject of constitution for the learned members of bar and law students thank you my lord i thank our additional advocate general mr bhaskaran sir for making his presence i thank our law commission member mr karna nidhi i wholeheartedly thank on behalf of all the bar association the bar council member mr talimuthar sir i thank senior counsels isaac mohan lal sir singara velan sir அனந்த பத்மநாபன் சார் அருள் வடிவேல் சேகர் சார் என் கிருஷ்ணவேணி மேம் டி எஸ் ஆர் வெங்கட்ரமணா சார் தேங்க்யூ சீனியர் கவுன்சில்ஸ் ஐ தேங்க் மிஸ்டர் கே மகேந்திரன் சார் ஐ தேங்க் சாமிதோரா சார் ஐ தேங்க் ஹாஜா மொய்தீன் சார் தேங்க்யூ ஃபார் தி ப்ரெசன்ட் சார் ஐ தேங்க் ஆல் தி லா ஆஃபீஸர்ஸ் ஐ தேங்க் தி மெம்பர்ஸ் ஆஃப் பார் ஜூனியர் அட்வொகேட்ஸ் மை டியர் ஃப்ரெண்ட்ஸ் ஐ தேங்க் ஒன் அண்ட் ஒன் அண்ட் ஆல் டு பி ப்ரெசன்ட் ஹியர் எப்படின்னா நாங்கள் ஜட்ஜை போய் பார்த்து இந்த ஃபங்க்ஷனுக்கு கேட்கும் போது வெக்கேஷனுக்கு முன்னாடியே வச்சுக்கலான்னு சொல்லி பிளான் பண்ணோம் ஆனால் ஜட்ஜு சொன்னாங்க ஜூன் தேர்ட் வீக்கில் தான் அப்படின்னு சொல்லிட்டு நாங்கள் எல்லோரும் ரொம்ப பயந்தோ கூட்டம் இருக்குமா என்னன்னு சொல்லிட்டு ஆனால் இவ்வளோ கூட்டம் இருக்கிறது திஸ் ஷோஸ் தி லவ் வி ஹாவ் ஃபார் யூ மை லவ் ஐ திட் ஐ தேங்க் தி அட்வொகேட்ஸ் ஹூ ஆர் ப்ரெசென்ட் ஹியர் ஜூரிங் திஸ் வெக்கேஷன் நான் நிறைய டைம் எடுத்துக்கக்கூடாதுன்னு சொல்லி தான் சிம்பிளாக முடிச்சுட்டு நிறைய ரெடி பண்ணேன் தேங்க் யூ அண்ட் ஆன் தேங்க் யூ ஜட்ஜ் before the conclusion i request all present here to give a standing ovation to the lordship nirivaga natupan janagana mana adhinayaka jayahe भारत भाग्य विधाता पंजाब सिंध गुजरात मराठा द्राविड उत्कल बंगा भिंज हिमाचल यमुना गंगा उच्चल जलधि तरंगा तव शुभ नामे जागे तव शुभ आशीष मागे तव जय गाथा जन गण मंगल दायक जय हे भारत भाग्य विधाता जय हे जय हे जय हे जय जय जय
जय जय हे